Hi there, my name is Jeff. I'm a senior product manager here at Cloud NC. And today I'm going to walk you through using the demo parts that are included with Cam Assist. We have two demo parts. So first of all, the parts need to be accessed from Cam Assist, which is in the manufacturer space of Fusion 360. So we're going to go over to manufacturer. And then you'll see under the Cam Assist red icon over on the far right here, we've got a drop down menu and then we have open the demo parts. So we'll open demo part one here. And this part is a simple part with uh, two setups and a vice. So Cam Assist requires a setup to run as well as the part and the tool library information. So the, in this case, the setups are already made for us with these demo parts. So with that, I'm gonna open Cam Assist and you'll see here, I'm just gonna change my um, tool library to the metric one that's included with Cam Assist. And then we're gonna just hit run. Uh, just after I'm going to just confirm here that I want to do both setups. So the top and bottom of this sample part. Now Cam Assist is running. At this point, the data is being sent to the cloud, cloud part of Cloud NC. And we are doing the processing on the cloud. And you can see here for setup one, we have 18 operations. That represents 18 manual steps that I would normally have to do to set up setup one in Fusion 360 without Cam Assist. And then I think there are four for setup two. So now Cam Assist has finished processing and Fusion is still calculating the roughing toolpaths a little bit, but these are uh, calculations that are taking place locally on my machine now. I'm just gonna expand out these folders here and you'll see that we have facing operations for roughing and finishing and roughing operations. If I zoom in a bit here, we'll see that. There's the roughing one and two, and then we have flat machining. So we do flats before we do wall finishing. Here's the wall finishing operations. And then hole making, we do, uh, we do counter bore holes, or pardon me, um, helical boring, and as well as drilling. And in Fusion 360, we can also do tapping if that information has been defined and it corresponds with our tool life. We have chamfering and deburring operations. And then on setup two, we have only four operations and here they are all together. So that's demo part one, quite easy. And now let's look at demo part two. So demo part two doesn't have a, a vice. It's just a part kind of floating in space. So it's a bit of fiction. It's like holding up the part to the machine, but we can still see the operation of cam assist. So. Here's the setup information. I'm just going to show you if you want to make changes to that. In this case, I'm going to change the origin in the center and top. There it is there. OK. Now I'm going to do Cam Assist. And I'll walk through some of the operations here. So we have our tool usage tab. So with a blue box around the border there, that's showing that the tool library information has all of the information Cam Assist needs. I don't need that necessarily. I'll switch this in a second here. And I'm also gonna turn on detailed roughing. And uh, out of the box, detailed roughing is disabled. And there's the other tabs here. We'll just go through them briefly, just to show you what the, what's there. And then uh, just before I hit run, I'm gonna switch this back to um, titanium just to be a little bit different. And if we went to the tool usage tab, you see that uh, we're gonna use Cam Assist generated tooling information for this run. So let's hit run. And it's just gonna take a few seconds to calculate. Again, this is a probably not something you'd send to the machine directly without having the fixture set up, but it just gets you an idea of how Cam Assist works. So again, this processing is taking place on the cloud. We've got our um, 16 operations running here. And then there we have a message saying that uh, all of the operations are going to be complete and expand these out. So at this stage, rather than just kind of scanning through all of the toolpaths that are created, I'm going to run a simulation. I run here and then simulate. Oh, I still have a, a fusion still calculating the roughing toolpaths there. I didn't quite notice that, but you can see them running there. So. It's always important to remember that Cam Assist is an assistant for you. So it's, it's a good idea to run simulations, check that the 
uh, operations are what you expect and that you can be confident in sending the part to the machine. So here are some of the simulations and toolpath operations if we just click through them and verify them. Just kind of waiting for that uh, roughing toolpath to finish processing their infusion. So here are the roughing operations. So let's run a simulation on that. So I just I did a right click on the, on the toolpath in the browser there, and now I'm running the simulation. You can verify that's what I expect. You can change some of the properties here. Remember that the toolpaths created our native toolpath operations. So you can do edits to them after they're created by Cam Assist. There's no communication between uh, our servers and Fusion 360 at this point. This is all within Fusion. So I'm just going to probably interrupt that and look at a different one. Interesting. Let's see what's going on here with the simulation. So, like I said, um, have fun with the demo parts. Use them to learn about Cam Assist. If you have any questions, please use the support link in Cam Assist. And remember that Cam Assist is available for a free trial at this, at this time. We have a 14-day free trial. Uh, please click at the link in the description if you'd like to get involved in the trial. And that's for Fusion uh, Autodesk Fusion. We also have uh, integrations being prepared for other systems like Mastercam and Siemens NX. So you can learn more at www.cloudnc.com. Thank you for watching.